to the first episode on the custom e-bike trailer. Now I've got all the pieces that I need, accumulated these bits over the weeks, got pieces ordered, got the paint sorted. We've got the trailer in the box there that I'll get out in a minute and I'll show you what we're gonna be doing. But we've got aluminium composite panel, plenty of, got timber, we've got all the tools that we're gonna need for chopping this stuff up and doing, basically we're gonna be doing a sort of dry mock-up, get all these panels cut, sort of size them up, and then we can pre-drill everything so we know where it's gonna fit. And then we can start moving on to the custom paint side. Now these videos are gonna be a few episodes long because each panel of this aluminium board will be fully airbrushed uh, and painted and clear coated. So it's gonna be a long process, guys. I hope you can stick around and join me on this little project. So I'll get this trailer out, stick it on the tripod, get this trailer out, and let's see what we're dealing with. See you in a bit. short time lapse we've got the trailer on the trestle here now this is a tubular framed bike trailer your wheels clip on like cotter pins on here they go one in there one on the other side and then you've got the bar to the front now this would go to the frame on the low rider e-bike so the frame's quite sturdy it's all powder coated black you've got a metal base to this and what we're going to be doing is we are going to be getting some aluminium composite panel which is this one here and we're going to be cladding the sides like this in aluminium this will go all the way around all cut to size in here like that and then we're going to be painting the aluminium black and we're going to do some airbrush art down the sides all the way around this to theme it to the low rider e-bike we've just done. And then the center on this bed to make it look like an old school pickup truck, we're gonna do some timber slat work in there so your timbers will look like this when it's complete. So these will be lined up like that. And then these will all be sanded and then varnished in like a brown stain and then varnished over the top and make them look nice and that will just finish the inside of the bed off instead of it being just metal you'll have a nice timber bed in this so that's the plan i've got to go around and mark up next and get all this aluminium cut so it fits into here and get some fixings through into this actual steel frame so that's the plan guys so i'll stick you in some time lapses and we'll get this aluminium cut. And then I'll see you after that and we'll, we'll just have a little talk through on what's going on next. So I'll see you in a bit. guys in that first time that's where we've cut the front part or the back piece and the front piece and they're all nicely intricate cutting all around these brackets and they fit nice and flush to this frame these will be pre-drilled here and here there'll be one there one there and one there and they'll be self tapped into this frame here all these edges will be sanded down I've planed all the edges so they're not sharp in any way but we'll give these a little sand and a round off on these edges when we've done the other two. Now these two sides here, we're gonna fit like this and then to this edge here and then round along this top piece and down. So they're the next two to do. 
once we've got all these sort of located and marked up I can then start chopping the bed down the timber bed and we can level up and see how that's going to fit because these timbers will hold this aluminium at the bottom so that'll give these two pieces support to stop these bowing in you'll have nice support around these edges here and then the timber will just stop this aluminium pushing this way on that side and that side and this side because the timbers will go up close to here so that's the plan just build it as we go along so I'll stick it in another time lapse I'll get the other two sides marked up and we'll crack on see you in a bit complete on the first stage on the custom e-bike trailer I've got all the aluminium sides cut down and all shaped to the frame so they're all on and they're just held on with that masking tape just to keep them in place and we've cut all the timber bed out made that fit nice and equaled out the gaps so that stage is all complete a little pan round so as you can see we've got all the timber all nicely cut in this will be fixed down and bolted through into the steel work all these edges will be nicely rounded off and this will all be stained so these timbers here will hold this aluminium in from pushing in and then on the exterior of the aluminium you'll have screws going in here self tapped into the steel frame going all the way around so it's all nice and neat all cut to the shapes so it looks like one and then when this is sprayed black, because the most of the, all this panel will be going black, and then you're gonna have pockets in this with artwork in as you go round. There's gonna be a bit of text on this as well. But that's where we are. So we've got the main cutting piece done. The next stage on this will be to just mark the panels up on the inside so I know what side's what. And then we can start prepping all this aluminium up, get it all prepped. And then I can start doing a panel at a time. It's going to be a panel, an episode, because it's all airbrush work on each panel, guys. So it's a few episodes on this, but we'll get there. So I just want to say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers. A big thumbs up to all the regulars and all the ones that are leaving comments, guys. It's much appreciated. Glad you're enjoying the content. And I will see you in part two of the Low Rider e-bike trailer. Thanks for watching, guys.